Hi Ben here and welcome back to the workshop. We just wanted to show you something that we've just finished off. Um, we've just finished off this matching set. So this is one of our four inch woodlanders. This is probably my favorite fixed blade that I make here in the workshop. It's probably also one of the ones that we've been making this design for probably the longest. So this is our sort of typical bushcraft knife, four inch blade, full size handle, about four and a quarter inch handle. This is made from 3.5 mil stock. And this has actually got stabilized elm on there. Now, elm is one of my favorite native timbers to use. We use it primarily for all our carving tools, but it's really nice when you put it on an actual full tang as well. So being stabilized, it means that it's gonna cope with change in humidity. So if you're taking it to very wet environments, it's not, no fear of it sort of swelling up. And it's gonna be great if you're gonna be using it for sort of canoe bushcraft and things like that. Now, this is my sort of favorite shape of handle to make because it's got this really nice shapely, coat, what we call a coat bottle shaped handle. Gives a really nice positive grip in the hand. And with this sort of nice rounded uh, butt to the knife, if you're sort of applying pressure, if you're driving the knife into a tree for tapping sap and things like that, it's very, very comfortable. Now this one's got stainless steel fittings. So this has got stainless loveless bolts and thong tube. And it's actually got nice black fiber liners on there. So we've made one fixed blade like that. And then we've also made the next favorite thing that I make in the workshop. It's not a fixed blade, but it's actually a friction folder. So this is one of our Nomad knives. And we've tried to complement it by using the same piece of timber. So from the same tree, so it's got the same color, same tone to the elm handle. That's stabilized as well. And then we've added the same black liners. These are G10 liners to make it sort of match the Woodlander. And we've got a G10 backspacer in there as well. So this is made from slightly thinner stock. This is 2.5 mil stock, so it makes a really nice slender blade. Works well as a companion blade because obviously the thinner blade is great for finer detail work if you're doing craft work on spoons, things like that. Also makes a slightly nicer knife for food prep and things like that. Obviously being a friction folder and a UK legal folder, it's sub three inches, the blade. Obviously no mechanical lock, just makes a really nice everyday carry really. And even though it's a folder, we base that on our Woodlander design. So just a scaled down version, so it's got the same sort of shaped handle and the same sort of positive grip in the hand really. Now Lois has made some really nice coyote brown sheaths for them. So we've got a nice belt sheath that the Nomad itself fits in there. And these are stitched with natural tiger thread. And then we've also got a nice coyote brown belt sheath for the Woodlander as well. So it's really nice to work on a matching set like this, because obviously you don't often get the chance to make two matching knives. So we thought we'd offer it up to you guys first really on the YouTube channel. Now, I think that that coyote brown leather really complements the owl. And Lois really likes using this particular leather, leather as well. It's got some really nice natural grain in it. And I think it's just gonna look better with every adventure you take it on really. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the Woodlander and the Nomad that we've just finished off. I know for me, I think Elm is probably one of my favorite native British timbers and hopefully it will be yours too. Now for you, the viewers, you basically get first dibs on this set. So these are now live on our store. So click the link below and you should be able to get to our store and you get the opportunity to purchase them first really. So hope you've enjoyed the videos. Remember to subscribe to the channel, but also if you wanna get notified when we release the latest video, click the little bell next to the subscribe button and you should be able to select your preferences there. So thanks again for watching and tune in next time.